so far we have done several things with lines and the linear functions. We have graphed linear functions, we have solved linear functions, and now we are going to start writing equations for linear functions. At the end of this lesson, you'll be able to write an equation of a line given the slope and intercept. So we'll be giving lots of different information, but this specific lesson will be addressing if I'm given the slope and the intercept. All right, slope intercept form, hopefully you remember, is just y equals mx plus b. And if you recall, the m stands for the slope, or the constant rate of change that's going on in the problem. So what is a problem going up by or down by? And then B, if you recall, is just the y-intercept. Where does the problem start? Okay, when you're writing an, an equation in slope-intercept form, you pretty much just need to identify the M and identify the B, and then we're just going to write the equation. So this is just the very most straightforward of the types of equations that we'll have. Right, the first example, if you look at, we're going to have the slope being negative two-thirds and the y-intercept being one. So if I would like to write an equation of the line, remember slope is just my m, so this would be my m value, and the y-intercept is one, so that's going to be my b value. And if I have y equals mx plus b, my equation will simply be y equals negative two-thirds x plus one. Okay, problem number two. This time, let's have the slope be eight and the y-intercept be negative seven. Again, remember the slope is the m and the y-intercept is the b. And as soon as you have that, you pretty much are all set to solve the equation. So we're just gonna have y equals m, which is eight, x plus b, which is negative seven. So that's the equation of my line. Okay, the next one, let's say we have a slope of four and the y-intercept is zero. So again, my slope is my m and my y-intercept is my b. So if I write the equation of the line, I'll have y equals mx, so 4x plus b, plus b would be plus zero. So probably a cleaner way of writing this would be y equals 4x, right? If you take a look at example four, let's this time have the slope being negative one-third, and we'll have the y-intercept, whoops, actually, I don't want that on that one. Let's have a slope of zero this time, and we'll have the y-intercept being six. Okay, so again, this part is my m, and the y-intercept is my b. So when I go to write this, I'm going to have y equals mx, which would be 0x this time, plus the b, and which would be 6. Okay, and probably a cleaner way of writing this one, 0 times anything is just 0, so we could simply write it as y equals 6. Okay, let's look at a couple of problems where we actually have to graph in order to find the slope. So we want to find the equation of this line right here. So I'm going to start out by writing y equals mx plus b. So the first thing that I'd like to know is the slope. When we're given a picture, it's usually easiest to find the slope by drawing a triangle. So I'm going to draw a triangle right here. It doesn't really matter where you draw the triangle, but that's where I'm going to draw it. Okay, um, this first one, I need to figure out the rise. So remember, I'm just going to remind you that slope is equal to rise over the run. So the rise, how many boxes does that line rise? It's going to be three. And if I look at how many boxes it runs, it's also three. So the slope is going to be on this one, three divided by three, which reduces to one. So I'll have y equals one, okay, but if I look at this, this line is headed down, so it's actually going to be a slope of negative one. So this is going to be negative one x plus where this graph, the b, remember, is the y-intercept, so where does this graph touch the y-axis? It looks like it's touching at three. So that would be the equation of my line. Okay, um, another way of looking at this one, if we wanted to, the graph starts at three, and then I'd have to go down one over one to get to the next part of the line. So that's another way of looking at it. Okay, if you look at number six, um, again, I'm going to go ahead and draw a triangle. The biggest thing is when you draw your triangle, you really want it to be hitting at good spots, and it looks like those are both hitting at good spots. So let's do this. Okay, my rise is going to be one, two, three, four, five boxes, and my run is going to be one, two, three boxes. So um, my slope is going to be rise over run. So it's going to be 5 thirds and this line is going up, so it will be positive. So I'm going to have y equals 5 thirds x plus my y-intercept. My y-intercept is right down here at negative 3. So probably the way that I'd prefer to write this would be y equals 5 thirds x minus 3. So hopefully now you can write an equation of a line if you are given the slope and an intercept.